हेलो फ्रेंड्स एज यू ऑल नो वी आर ऑलमोस्ट अबाउट टू फिनिश आर डीएमए टू पोर्शन ओनली वन चैप्टर इज लेफ्ट वील बी कम्प्लीटिंग इट इन द कमिंग टू डेज सो यू मस्ट बी वंडरिंग हाउ डू आई राइट द एंड सेमेस्टर एग्जामिनेशन टू स्कोर मैक्सिमम मार्क्स डिजाइन ऑफ मशीन एलिमेंट इज अ फेयरली सिंपल पेपर फॉर द एंड सेमेस्टर एंड यू कैन ईजिली एंड अप स्कोरिंग फिफ्टी फाइव टू सिक्सटी मार्क्स इफ यू आर केयरफुल विद द थियरी एंड द न्यूमेरिकल्स लेट सी सम पेपर्स एंड गेट अ फेयर आइडिया ऑफ हाउ द पेपर्स कम Let's see the December 16 paper, the backlog paper. Let's start from the last numerical. As you all know, as I told you in the last video, do practice the Peterhof equation. It has always come in for five marks or eight marks derivation. The tenth A question was for eleven marks, and I had taught you the taking average of both these values to find out the clearance. From this clearance, you can find out the film thickness, and you can calculate all these. Values from the table. So this was a fairly simple numerical. You could have scored 11 marks easily and 5 marks for the derivation. Derivation have almost every time full marks. They cannot deduct marks. The ninth A question was also very simple. You can see the edge zero by C F power Austin friction viscosity total flow rate that is Q in liter per minute side leakage Q S by Q. Average temperature delta D. I had taught the numerical in the last video. Do check it out. Eight A question was derive the condition for maximum power transmission capacity drive. I'll teach you in the next video. So the eighth question and the seventh question are horizontal flat belt drive. This question is relatively bigger, but they have asked us simple simple things. Let's see what they are. Select the flat belt drive. We have to find out the number of belts required. That is power given power upon found out power. That is total number of belts. Fairly simple numerical, easily twelve marks. Next is pair of gear. That is worm gear pair. Worm gear numericals are pretty simple, similar to spur gear. Just you have to use the virtual number of teeth and virtual angle. I'll be teaching you in the next video. Worm gears are fairly simple. Design worm and worm gear drive. This is for 14 marks. So you can see 14 plus 4, you are scoring 18 marks by writing a simple explanation of why you would recommend blower for a gear box. It is simply for reducing the heat. And next question fifth was deduce an expression. So it was okay. The numericals are fine. You must be knowing about bevel gear. So I I assume we'll be completing bevel gear very soon. Okay, and question one was explain the different types of gear gear tooth failures, their causes and remedies. So it is again pretty simple. You can write about it once you have read it from the textbook. The numerical is also very simple. You have to calculate just three things: helix angle, F B, and F W. There's definite formula for all these three things, and all the data has been given. So six and four marks were almost fixed. That is ten marks from the first question. Similarly, ten marks you could have scored from the second question if you wanted. So the paper was pretty simple, and 60 marks were to be scored easily. Let's see a next paper, design of machine elements too. So you can see 10 marks was theory. The virtual number of teeth are used for helical gear, and why they are used. Next, let's see what the second question is. It's again a numerical, and theory for four marks. Or third question was theory and theory. Fourth question was derivation. So this derivation is pretty hard, a little harder, but you can practice it every practice it once and you will be fine. Fourth question was a little difficult in my opinion, but it can be solved. Various methods of belt tensioning is given in your textbook. The numerical was a V belt drive. You have to consider angle phi by calculating TFT upon TFS. It is pretty simple. Question sixth was total theory. So eighteen marks was easy. Do not skip any theory which is mentioned in the question paper because the theories are almost repeated. They repeat the important theory every time. So the paper is question eight is theory and numerical. Question ninth was pretty simple. So see again, question ninth always start writing your paper from question number ten because hydrodynamic general bearing are very easy. Then start writing the belt numerical, worm and worm gear drive. So you can score fifty marks in first one and a half hour because to solve these numericals you hardly need fifteen fifteen minutes. So the 
न्यूमेरिकल फॉर क्वेश्चन नाइन दैट इज ट्वेल्व मार्क्स वॉज वेरी इजी दैट इज डायमेंशन ऑफ द बेरिंग्स कोफिशेंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन पावर लॉस्ट एवरी थिंग इज गिवन एल बाई डी रेशियो इज गिवन यू कड हैजीली कैलकुलेटेड एवरी थिंग सो नो इश्यूज इन फाइंडिंग आउट द आंसर्स क्वेश्चन टेंथ वॉज थियरी सो पीपल हु आर फाइंडिंग इट डिफिकल्ट टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नाइन कैन गो फॉर टू क्वेश्चन टेन इट वॉज ऑल्सो ईजी सो सिक्सटी मार्क्स वर फिक्सड लेट सी द फर्स्ट एंड द लास्ट पेपर मे फोर्टीन मे फोर्टीन लेट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द बॉटम अगेन एज यू कैन सी हाइड्रोडाइनमिक जर्नल बेरिंग हैज इलेवन मार्क्स न्यूमेरिकल डब्ल्यू वॉज गिवन स्पीड वॉज गिवन एल बाई डी इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टू माई सरप्राइज आई हैव सीन एल बाई डी रेशियो फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव नो इश्यू यूज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टेबल एंड कॉलम फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द एरियाज एंड द वेरियस वैल्यूज डायमीटर ऑफ जर्नल वॉज टू बी फाउंड आउट दैट इज स्मॉल डी सी वॉज टू बी फाइंड आउट एच जीरो एंड वी सो इट वॉज प्रिटी सिंपल नो प्रॉब्लम सी पीटर ऑफ इक्वेशन इज रिपीटेड फॉर सेवन मार्क्स लास्ट टाइम इट वॉज फॉर सिक्स मार्क्स दे ऑलमोस्ट रिपीट द थियरी एवरी टाइम सो डू नॉट लीव एनी थियरी यू सी इन द क्वेश्चन पेपर्स मिनिमम ऑल फिल्म थिकनेस को इफिशियंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन पावर लॉस्ट इन फ्रिक्शन वेरी सिंपल न्यूमेरिकल ओके सो नाउ कम्स अ थियरी पार्ट ऑफ चेन बेल्ट एंड रोप ड्राइव सो डू नॉट फॉर गेट टू प्रैक्टिस सिक्स बाय सेवन एंड सिक्स बाय नाइनटीन दे हैव ऑलमोस्ट आज दिस वेरी मच टाइम वी बेल्ट ड्राइव फ्रॉम द मैन्यूअल कैटलॉग the length of the belt that is l has a definite formula thickness you can find it out by using tc and initial tension the numerical was very 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 easy for 12 marks and uh, the belt tensioning method is repeated again I, we have seen it in the last paper why the worm gears are governing the design and why they are weak is all, also repeated pretty simple fv fw and thermal consideration the paper is very easy considering the level of a third year student again the this is of the radial load bearing that is question number 4 for the in semester examination very easy again there is no problem solving it you have to just calculate dynamic load carrying capacity no problem in solving it spur gear is always easy if you have done it properly beam strength and where fv and fw is to be found out pretty easy so that's it guys the paper was very easy do not skip the theory mentioned in the papers you collect your papers from the library or from the department or from the behind of your textbook you should solve all the theory from it and keep a check on all the repeating numericals the numericals are almost repeated from 10 to 12 varieties just properly practice them and you will be good to go i hope to see you in the next video i'll keep the links of the previous videos from there you can see everything about the last two chapters that is hydrodynamic bearing and chain belt rope and chain drive i'll be covering worm gear as well as spur and helical again for proper understanding i'll see you in the next video